In this video, I'm going to show you the new bestsellers tool within the Ali Inspector version 2. When I initially created the software, this tool was actually a little bit different, but I decided to add a big upgrade when I finally released this software to the public. So what you're seeing here is might be a little bit different in some of the other videos, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the things that I changed. So the way that I had it before was the, the actual categories were at the very top, but now I incorporated more categories. So I got all the major categories and the subcategories for each major category all inside this handy little tree view. And the way that it works now, all you have to do is just select any category that you'd like to see what the top selling products are in and go ahead and just click the go button and I'll go ahead and it will download the page range you would like. So I, I, I just have it set to two pages. You can also set the page range to anything you want. Um, so it decided to go down here for one second. Let's just pause it. Okay, so got the two pages. So this particular category, consumer electronics, it downloaded the first two pages of products. But as you can see here, similar to the product search tool, a lot of the data is not returned yet. So there's only some data that's returned based on the search results, but if you want to get all the extra data, it's no problem. This is where you can go and select more data at the bottom there, and you can select the number of download threads you'd like to work with. I suggest starting low, and then if your internet connection is fast, you, you may be able to increase the threads. But basically, this allows you to download um, the product data at the same time, so five product data at the same time. Let's go ahead and increase that to 10 for this example, and just go and do that. So what it's doing now, it's going through and you can see it's downloading 10 products at a time. As you can see, it's moving really fast there. I did pause the video for a little bit. I want to show you how fast it's going here today. Okay, so there we go. Now we have all that extra data. And this tool is very similar to the product search tool where it has all the same features so you can do the preview. You can uh, search within the data, click here and select the the actual uh, text you want to search within. So say for example you want to search within just the product title and do an instant search. So you can type in on TV. There's nothing with TV in it or new. That's what that little tool is for but it's very similar to the other, other ones. You can also save the data to a project file. Um, save it to uh, all these different formats. But basically what, what I do want to show you here is the input. So we do have the ability to set the markup percentage the same as they did I did in the other tools. So that basically gives you an idea of how much uh, retail you should be offering. So if you purchase the product for you know 94 cents plus the e-packet, this is the price. If you do 100% markup, that means you're going to make $3.60 in profit. You also have the uh, ship from country and ship to country. But I think the best part is, is now you have the ability to go through all of these different categories. And I did add a little search bar at the top here. So what this does, it searches the keywords within the categories because there is 381 and you may not want to go and search through all 300 of them. So you can just go ahead and do this. So say for example, you want to do um, find some products in the fishing niche. So type in fishing and then hit search. What that does, it just finds the categories that contain the word fishing, and sure enough, there's one there. So if I go and clear out this data, I can go ahead and say if I get the first page of results, click go. And what this tool does, like I mentioned, it finds the top selling products, but really what it does, it goes to the category page, and it searches the category page on AliExpress, and it returns the, the products that have the most number of orders. You can see here, you know, 14,000 orders for that particular product. Now, if you want to see the corresponding actual page on AliExpress, all you have to do within here is you can just right click and select View Category. And you'll be taken to that corresponding category page, as you can see here. Pretty cool. Now, you may notice that sometimes when you come to the page here, you may get the Different, slightly different results within the search results on AliExpress than you will in the software. It's because, and also more specifically, the actual shipping costs. In order to get that the same, you have to make sure you set the settings within the um, AliExpress browser, like within your browser and also within the software, meaning the ship from country and the ship to country are set right here. So China and then ship to country, you got to make sure that's the same 
within here. In mine, I have shipped to US as well. So, and also it's a good idea to sign in. <clears throat> but as you can see here, you can go ahead and quickly look through the category if you'd like. You can also do other things here as well. So if you want to get back to the all the categories, just click the reload button. And in here you can do things like expand all, collapse all, you can check all. Now I would not suggest checking all 381 and then try to download all of them. You're probably waiting for quite a long time. But that option is there. <clears throat> now as with all the other tools, you do have all those awesome options where, for example, if you wanted to see the uh, product details, you can just right click and then the data table and you got all these options just like before. So click product details and you can see the product detail window come up and see all the corresponding images and then title, price, keywords and all that kind of stuff. There's also this feature here, if you keep this clicked, if available, download images inside the product description as well, not just the images you see. So if you go to that web, you go to that product page, you'll see they have pictures here, but along in the description, they may have more. So these ones will also be pulled into the software and you can click on them and obviously you can move this window bigger and see the images bigger if you'd like, just by moving these little splitters around. Again, you also has like you can extract the the number of sales using the product transaction history feature. Then here again, you can see all the number of sales per country, and you can also see by sales by date. So it pulled only three. You're only able to pull a thousand transactions at a time. That's a limitation provided by AliExpress, and you can see last throughout thousand transactions for this product occurred in just three days so this product is selling really well you see the uh the days of the week and by the hour how many sales per hour and this is for all of it but if you just want to go to a particular country for example um let's just sort by revenue say by um korea you could see the number of sales based just in that country you also have the ability to you know, save this data to a project file and you can continue to, you can load other project files you've saved so you can continually see sales over time if you'd like. You can export data to uh, um, common delimited file or text. You can also export all these images if you'd like. Export chart to image. You can do a JPEG, PNG or a bitmap. I'll be providing another video to show exactly how to use this tool but just want to quickly show you here. And you also have all the other options. You can send the keywords that have been extracted from the particular product and send that over to the keyword generator if you'd like. Or you can send it to the favorites section as well. Now at the time of recording this particular video, I updated the favorites and it created a new way of saving favorites inside of groups because it just seemed more logical to be able to do that because you're going to have a lot of e-com stores or maybe a lot of categories within your e-com store. So it just made sense to have cat or have groups. So at the time of recording this video, this was a new feature. So you can see here now we have groups inside of here. It's pretty self-explanatory. So if you want to add, say, these products to your fishing group, for example, you can just select them, right click, send the favorites like before. Looks like I clicked the wrong one. Sorry. Right send the favorites, not the keyword generator. So if you send the favorites, then you can select a category that you'd want to, add, or sorry, category, a group that you'd like to add your favorites to. If you don't see a group there you'd like to add it to, you can just add a new group. We can call it fishing, click okay. Select that group, click okay. And now you'll go over to favorites and you can see it added a new group with those items, those products within that, that group. So now you have the ability to, and, and the software will always remember your favorites whenever you open it. And just like the other uh, tools, you also have all these things like the chat boxes. You can copy particular things from the, the grid and you can export using the, um, the, the tools. Like the, you can download the product images and descriptions, create an import file for WooCommerce or Shopify. You're also going to create a product review file and the WooCommerce product review file. Again, I'll be providing videos on those features. You can watch them separately. You've also got the filtering. You can search the web for these particular products. So Google search all the way down these different different websites. 
So filters are um, quite self-explanatory. You also have the filters at the top, the little quick filters. You can filter products that way, different, different columns. You can always clear filters using this clear filters button. And of course, you can bring up the filters window and you can uh, start creating filters. But again, I'll be providing another video on how to do this. It's quite simple. But that's basically it. So the main feature here for the best sellers is the idea that you now have the ability to just click a category and see the top selling products for that given category. And you have to remember that this data is in real time. So there's nothing saved into a database on my website or any website anywhere. This is real time data and you cannot get that feature from other um, products that are similar to this where it does AliExpress um, kind of research. If you want the fresh, the most fresh data that you can possibly get, this is the way to do it. You can use the AliInspector version too. So that's it. Thanks for watching this video.